Hi ladies, my name is Eva Karkuff and I'm a junior in Alpha Delta Pi. I would love to be with you tonight, but unfortunately I'm at a cross country race right now. I'm probably in the middle of the race, hopefully I'm doing pretty well. Um, I just want to share my recruitment story and kind of how keeping an open mind helped me through recruitment and also hopefully I can calm some of the nerves you have. Um, I know that I was very nervous in your shoes a year ago. So, um, like I said, I'm a junior in Alpha Delta Pi. I'm also the new member coordinator for Alpha Delta Pi and I run cross country and track and I'm an intramural supervisor for Campus Rec. So those are just a few things I do on campus. Uh, my recruitment story though starts with my parents actually. They both graduated from Gettysburg College a long time ago um, and they were both a part of Greek life. So my mom was in sorority A here at Gettysburg and that made me a legacy to that sorority when I was going through recruitment. Um, and while I wanted to follow my mom's footsteps and be her legacy and uh, do exactly what she did because who doesn't want to follow their mom as a role model, uh, I wasn't exactly sure if I wanted to have the, the uh, label as a legacy. I wasn't sure what sorority I wanted to go to and I didn't want to be tied down by that label. So while my parents were both in Greek life, they really didn't have much of an influence on my decision to go Greek. That was my decision uh, when I came to Gettysburg and coming in as a freshman, I knew that's what I wanted to do. I was always on a team through cross country and track and I really loved the support and the friendship uh, that the team was able to give me and I felt that joining a sorority at Gettysburg would give me another group of strong, uh, empowered, driven women who could support me and really enhance my college experience. So uh, going through recruitment and going through my freshman year, I met a lot of girls in Greek life uh, and they were all wonderful and they just made the decision uh, of which sorority I would want to choose even more difficult. But I kept reminding myself that regardless of my legacy and uh, what my mom did and what my friends were doing, because I had a lot of friends at the time that were on my team, that were I lived with, uh, and that I was just best friends with, that were choosing other sororities and that were uh, looking at different sororities that I was. Um, so I just kept reminding myself that regardless of what everyone else was doing, I was choosing to go Greek. And I knew that there were so many wonderful women in Greek life that it wouldn't matter where I landed on the Greek spectrum. Uh, every sorority has uh, just wonderful women in it that are supportive and just are going to love you no matter where you land. Uh, I've met girls in every sorority since I've been in Alpha Delta Pi and they're all, they're all there for the same reason. They all want to be a part of Greek life and so I knew that no matter where I landed those women were going to look out for me um, and also that there were all different in each sorority. So I would find my place no matter where I landed. Um, but as freshman year ended, my nerves uh, still weren't settled. I wasn't sure still where I wanted to go. There were a few that stuck out, few sororities that stuck out to me. But um, going into recruitment uh, in the fall, I was still kind of torn between sororities that I thought I really liked, uh, sororities that my friends were going to, and then my mom's sorority. So. When formal recruitment came around, um, I went through all the parties, uh, all the women were amazing, all the sororities stuck out in their own way, um, but by Sunday, the last day of recruitment, uh, during prep round, I was called back to two sororities, sorority A, that my mom was in and that I was legacy to, and sorority B, which was one of my top sororities. Um, so I was, really I was really happy and that I was called back to those two, I felt comfortable with either one of them. I knew that joining the sorority that my mom was a legacy to, there were a lot of great women in there, it would be something really special and that I was connected to my mom. Uh, and if I knew that if I joined sorority B, um, I really felt comfortable with those girls and I felt uh, just like I could be myself there. So I knew either one was a great option. Uh, when I was going through the prep party in sorority A, where my mom, where I'm a legacy to, uh, I kept thinking about my mom and how cool it would be to follow in her footsteps and to have that family tie uh, be really something special that I could share with my mom. Uh, but at the same time, when I went through the prep party at Sorority B, I just felt more comfortable there. I felt like, I, like I said, I could be myself and I just felt at home. Those girls felt like I, I could fit in a little bit better there. Um, 
but I didn't want to let my mom down. I didn't want to disappoint her or insult her by not joining her sorority. But uh, like I said, this was a decision that I made myself uh, and I stuck to my gut. And so I just went where I felt most comfortable. Um, and also I had a lot of friends who were joining other sororities besides my legacy and besides the sorority that I thought was my top choice. Um, so there was a lot of influences on Sunday. It's very high emotions um, this whole weekend. And I just reminded myself again and again, no matter what happens, no matter who I rank first and who I rank second, um, I knew that either sorority, A or B, was going to be a great option for me. Because um, like I said, I was joining a team. I was joining Greek Life. And Greek Life has just amazing women in it in general. Uh, so as it happened, I filled out the card. I ranked sorority B, where I just felt a little more comfortable uh, as my first choice, and sorority A, my legacy, as a second, as a backup. Um, and I ended up getting a bid to sorority B, my first choice, um, and happily accepted. And when I called my mom uh, that night to tell her that I had gotten sorority B and I did not go with her legacy, uh, believe it or not, she didn't care at all. Um, she still loves me. She's just as happy. She was actually ecstatic that I chose the sorority that I wanted. Um, I had friends that joined other sororities and to this day um, it doesn't make a difference. I'm roommates with girls in different sororities. Um, I was roommates with people who are non-Greek life um, and if you're worried about you know losing friends from your freshman year because they're gonna join a different sorority I can attest that that doesn't happen. Um, Actually, it's made our friendship stronger, and I've met so many more people because I've had friends that have joined other sororities. Uh, so to wrap up, I just want to say a few quick words of summary, I guess. Um, I just want to remind you that regardless of what your friends are choosing, you don't know what's going to happen this weekend. Nobody does. Uh, and so if you make a decision based on where your friends are going or where you think your friends are going to go, and things don't go as planned, um, you might end up somewhere where you don't feel the most comfortable. So it's just important to make a decision based on your own gut um, and keep an open mind to all the sororities. Uh, like I said, you're joining Greek Life, you're joining a team, and all the women and all the sororities at Gettysburg um, are just, are, we're all there for the same reason. We want to support each other. Um, we're driven, empowered women. Um, so you'll find your place. Um, and like I said, I can tell you from personal experience that if you're worried about losing friends, it's not going to happen. Uh, you can remain friends, teammates, roommates uh, with girls in other sororities and girls that are not in Greek life. Um, remember, this is Gettysburg. It's a small campus. It's really hard to lose track of friends, but really easy to make new ones. Um, and then lastly, uh, if you are a legacy, which I know not everyone is, um, but even if you have friends at other schools and other sororities or whatever, um, being a legacy doesn't determine your fate. This is your college experience and you have to follow your own path. Um, and sororities change from year to year and definitely from campus to campus. So you have to listen to your heart and find your own home and, in Greek life at Gettysburg. So I hope everything I had to say was helpful. Uh, good luck this week with classes and I look forward to seeing you all this weekend. Don't be too nervous, just enjoy it. Uh, this is a really fun weekend and uh, Again, I hope everything I said was helpful.